What's up guys, Warnick Revolution here, back at you with another nickel hunting video. Of course, we got the hundred dollars in nickels. And um, today, we'll be going through ten rolls of these nickels. And I did mark some enders, so we'll be opening these first, just to see what they are. Um, this one's actually what I would call a double-sided ender. There's like an old Monticello on this side. And then there's another one on this side, as you can see. Could be old, could not be old, it just, you know, it just depends. Sometimes they just look old and they're not actually that old, but we also found a 1998 on the end, so that's an ender. And we also got this weird one. It looks like it's older, but I don't know if it is or not. It's not really a high relief, so it's probably 70s, but... Might as well check to see what it is. It's just got all these dark spots on it. So I thought I would check that out. And of course the Canadian Ender. That's definitely an Ender. But um, we're just going to go through 10 rolls each day. And we're looking for 50s, 40s, 30s nickels. Buffalo nickels, V nickels, Shield nickels, War nickels, Low Midget Jefferson's key dates. Low Midget Buffaloes, Blank Planchets, Proofs, Forns, and 2009s as well as some older Canadians that are 99.9% .9 nickel. So 1965 to 1981 and young head nickels 1953 to 1964. And we're looking for low winged buffaloes. We got the dates on this mat that I'm using today. But we, will sh we shall see what we find today. Hopefully we find some good stuff like buffaloes and war nickels, things like that. That's what we typically find. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into these rolls and see what we can find. I'll see you guys on the first find. First roll, guys, and our very first find is right here. It's a 1946 nickel. 1946 Philly. Giving us four points. I am going to do the point system using Quinn's Coins official coin roll hunting competition standard score sheet. Um, just because this is a whole box and that's what I usually do is... When I have a whole box of nickels to go through, I usually do the score sheet just to see how we did per box. And yeah, but uh, 46 Philly, it's a good find, giving us four points, and let's see what else we can find. I thought I might just open this one, this roll live, because I think it's like a double ender. It could be something old on both sides of the nickel roll, so might as well show you guys what those are, if anything. Alright, looks like the one on this side is going to be a 1954, so that's definitely old. 54 Philly, giving us two points. And let's check out this one on this side. That one's going to be 64, so the 64s I don't keep because they made a lot of them. They made like billions of them. But a 1954 on one end is better than nothing on either end. So that one's going to give us... Two points for being from the 50s, and we will continue and see what else we can find. Okay, well guys, unfortunately, in this roll with the Canadian Ender, we have a penny in the roll right there. But yeah, 1998 Canadian. Giving us two points for being foreign. Let's see what this penny is. It is copper. You can already tell. What's the date? 1964 Denver. All right, we lost four cents there. That's unfortunate. But the uh, 1998 Canadian will give us two points, so that's awesome. Every point counts. These boxes. This actually looks kind of old. The one right after that. Canadian Ender. It's a 1962. So something I wouldn't normally keep, but let's just keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Alright, we're on the same roll as that Canadian Ender. And this looks pretty old. It's very... um tannish in color and the Monticello is definitely old. We got a D mint mark. Let's see what the uh let's see what the year is. In three, two, one. 1951 Denver, which is actually a really good date because that's a low mintage coin. Low mintage Jefferson giving us ten points just on this one coin. So that's really awesome. And let's continue to see what else we can find. The same role as that Canadian Ender. We got this 1956 Denver giving us two points. 
It's pretty awesome. We got, what, three coins out of this roll? Scoring points. That's pretty awesome. Let's just see what else is in there. Looks like we didn't get anything else, but still got a lot of points on that um, roll. And we still got um, seven rolls left on this hunt. So I'll see you guys in the next find. Roll number six, guys. We got something. 1957 Denver. Giving us two points. We're now on roll number seven, guys. And near the middle of the roll, we just got this one. 1956 Denver. Giving us two points. Awesome. Let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. We're on roll number, roll number nine in the middle of the roll. We just got this 1940 Philly. Looks like it's been uh, polished, I think. Or it's just really, um, really shiny. Even though it's um, very worn. 1940 giving us four points. And let's continue to see what we can find. It's this roll and then the next roll and then we'll be done with this hunt. But uh, hopefully find something good. Hey guys, what we ended up getting for finds is a 1940 Philly, 1946 Philly, 1954 Philly, two 1956 Denvers, one 1957 Denver. For extra good finds, we found this 1951 um, Denver, giving us 10 points. And we got this 1998 Canadian, giving us 2 points for being foreign. Uh, but all together, we got... How many points? We got 16 points altogether. And let's continue to see what else we can find for the rest of the box tomorrow. Tomorrow is next hunt. Next hunt of the box. The next 10 rolls. But yeah, if you guys like the video, please like. Share it if you think a friend would enjoy it. And subscribe if you're new, if you like this kind of content, if you like these kind of videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.